Hello everybody, I wanted to do a quick video on how to find trending hashtags. So hashtags, of course, those are the topics around which people talk or post or share on social media. They, of course, started on Twitter, but now they're pretty much everywhere. They're even on Facebook, but they're really big on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and I would say also really growing on LinkedIn. So if you don't really know what a hashtag is, just for instance, uh, you can click on a hashtag like I've got the hashtag Tulsa here you can click on that that's going to take you on Instagram and you're just going to see kind of all the crazy silly weird whatever stuff that people are posting on Instagram about Tulsa now it doesn't have to be a city it doesn't have to be a place it can be something abstract so you can look on Twitter and you can see for instance everything relating to you know global warming so it can be on a topic so if you don't know what hashtag is just I've got a nice link there to an explanatory article all right, so next up, um, you know, let's just kind of talk a little bit about trending hashtags, but we really need to talk first about your keywords because, you know, let's say you sell motorcycle insurance, for instance. You know, there might be a lot of discussion on Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever about organic food, but, you know, you don't really care, right? Or about Donald Trump, right? You don't really care about Donald Trump. So it's got to be relevant, right? It's got to be a relevant hashtag. Even if, you know, Taylor Swift is trending and, you know, come on, let's face it. She's kind of always trending on social media and there's just massive conversations. There's no point. So don't be mesmerized by just what's trending or what's got the most volume. You've always got to be focused on relevancy. Next up. You know, let's just talk about some tools. So you have to have your starter keyword theme. So that could be cats, it could be cat boarding, it could be San Francisco, it could be global warming, you know, whatever. You gotta have those starter keywords. And then there are some good tools to discover hashtags and also to kind of see what's trending in terms of volume. So for instance, this tool is really awesome, hashtagify.me if you haven't used it. And you can click up to popular and it will show you um, what's the most popular. Now the problem is, you know, Bird Box is trending. I mean, this is massive pop culture trends. So it's not particularly useful um, to use it that way. A little bit more useful is to click on find and then, you know, type in a hashtag that's relevant to your business, you know, like motorcycles, if you sell motorcycle insurance, and then dig into the details that you'll get um, here about what's, you know, what's trending uh, within motorcycle insurance. Another um, you know, good tool is hashtags.org. Same thing. You can click over to it. Most of these tools are free. You can see what's trending on them. Uh, again, it's largely going to be pop culture. You can go up to their search engine function and look at cats and you can kind of see like what's going on within a keyword that you think is relevant. And you can look for other ones that might be trending uh, relating to that hashtag. So that's hashtagify.me. I've got some other ones here like TagDef, Webstagram, and probably one of the most popular uh, tools for this function is WriteTag. So same kind of function. You can see a lot of data about what's trending on social media uh, with respect to hashtags on WriteTag. And then you can search for ones that are relevant and kind of dig in and play with your data to see what's popular uh, versus what's trending. Okay, third and finally, let's wrap up. As you research hashtags, you know, be sure you're kind of clear about three different concepts. So the first concept is relevancy. You know, you want a hashtag that's relevant to your business. That's at least an adjacent uh, keyword theme. You want something that, you know, somehow connects to what you sell and who wants it. The second theme is this idea of popularity, of volume, right? So, you know, there's no point on... Um, putting in a hashtag that no one uses or no one's interested in. Uh, but on the flip side, you know, there's a lot of discussion about Obamacare or motorcycles, but there's so much volume there that you can't really stand out, you know, unless you're Oprah Winfrey or someone who's really uh, important and has a lot of social following. So popularity isn't the only variable. And then the third variable, and that's why trending is so interesting, a trending hashtag by definition has accelerating volume. And these are often kind of relating to news topics. So uh, we saw for a second that Bird Box is trending. Well, here we are in January 2019, and that's like this cool, weird movie. So, you know, 
a month ago, no one had ever heard of it, and now it's just exploding. So by following trends, by getting on those trends, by looking for trending hashtags, you can kind of be the first or second or third person on the bandwagon and therefore get a lot of attention. That's why we're really excited about trending hashtags, and you should pay attention to them. Again, look for hashtags that are relevant, popular, and trending, and then, of course, you've got to chime in with content that is actually interesting and useful. So this has been a quick little uh, YouTube video about how to find trending hashtags. Uh, very important concept in social media marketing. I hope you found it useful. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want the materials. They're in the YouTube description below. Thanks for watching.